As we all know, the internet is a snitch. Every site you visit knows your IP, your device, your screen size, and probably your credit score. Fingerprinted systems track you harder than your ex-girlfriend after a breakup. At least for us good-looking folks. So what if you could delete your identity, clone yourself a thousand times, and browse the web like a ghost in incognito plus mode? That's what anti-detect browsers are. It's like Chrome on steroids that allows you to make like a thousand profiles at the same time. An anti-detect browser looks normal, but it's basically a disguise factory. You create profiles, each profile gets its own cookies, cache, time zone, fonts, and fingerprint. Each one behaves like a different person. So instead of one computer logging into five accounts and getting banned in 30 seconds, you have five separate people with unique digital lives. But profiles alone are useless if every profile uses the same IP. It's like dressing your clones in different costumes but driving them all in the same car. Site security will notice. You need proxies, IP addresses that sit between the profile and the internet. Residential proxies are the best for stealth because they look like real home users. And you're trying to go a step further Further, you can get some quality mobile proxies. Together, Anti-Detect handles a fingerprint, proxies handle the location. Match them correctly and you look like an army of real humans. Now when you're choosing proxies, don't go for the free ones that you find on sketchy reddit posts. They're slower than dial up and about as safe as downloading free photoshop in 2010. You want clean, real residential IPs. My all time recommended proxy provider is Zini Proxy. They got a huge global network of residential and mobile proxies and the support is so fast I feel like I have a personal assistant. I use them for all my multi-account management and scraping projects. I'll leave the link in the description for all my fellow SMM managers and multi-account and enterprise teams so your life gets a bit easier, okay? Use proxies to handle location and anonymity and to detect browsers to handle the fingerprint. You should be good. All right, let me show you a workflow that you will actually use. I'm gonna create one profile, make it look local, and attach a matching proxy so the whole thing looks legit. Open your anti-detect browser, click new profile, and give it a preferred name. Next, get a proxy on the same region. I use Zini proxies so I'll log into my dashboard, go to premium residential, and I'm gonna access the proxy generator. I'll pick a German residential IP. I'll copy the authentication. Now I'll go back to my anti-detect browser and paste the proxy input. The secret is alignment, country, time zone, language, and proxy. When those match, Side checks are as see you as a consistent user. Then you can test your connection and you're ready to shadow clone Jutsu on a thousand profiles. You can run dozens of ad accounts at once, price monitoring, so you can watch thousands of SKUs across regions to spot deals or price gaps, scrape large data sets, account creations, onboarding regional test accounts, partner accounts, or client dashboards, or you can spy on your competitors or your client's competitors if you're an agency, you know, like their promos, stock across regions. Possibilities are endless. As an example, let's say you're managing 20 ad accounts or clients in different countries. You create 20 browser profiles in your anti-detect browsers, each with unique fingerprints. Then you assign 20 residential proxies from matching regions, such as US, UK, or whatever you're from. Now you can log into 20 accounts without flagging them because each one behaves and connects like a local user. No bans, no captures, no headaches. You're happy, your customers are happy, so everybody's happy. As almost everything in this world, there are hundreds of choices, but the most used are Ads Power, Dolphin, Moologin, an Octo Browser, and a bunch more. Most used does not mean they're good. We'll take a look at them at a later video. I have intel on agencies and industry with major systems running on one of them, by the way. But they all integrate very well with proxies. So pick your combo, and you're ready to run 50 different people on one screen. But one big question, is this safe? Short answer, yes. And to detect browsers, themselves are legal tools. They're used as actual tools for agencies and customers all around the world. What matters is how you use them. If you're managing ad accounts, scraping product data, or automating social workflows, then you should be good. But if you're running fraud or shady automation, you're one step away from being on a cybersecurity documentary. Because even with all that camouflage, you're still one JavaScript error away from blowing your cover. And if you're anything like me, the error is gonna be a missing semicolon you ignored three hours ago. So yeah, stealth mode on, panic mode, always ready. To wrap it up, a browser is a disguise, a proxy is a passport, and together it's a stealth mission that is ongoing. For clean, global IPs that just work, check the description and remember, stay clever, move fast, and let your bot do the heavy lifting. Subscribe if you want more ways to automate the internet.